Hey there, fight friends. Andy Cotterell with MMA.ca here with Tisha Guthrow. Tisha fighting for at Unified MMA 51, June 23rd, Niagara Falls. And Tisha, you're fighting for the interim bantamweight championship against Eric Shelton. How are you doing today? Good, man. Really tired. We just got done wrestling. I watched the whole practice, and you give her the whole time. What's it like being part of a, a team of killers like this at Niagara Top Team? Oh, it's great, man. Just fucking hard work. There's no slack, and we're always pushing. Mm -hmm. um, just fucking complete focus. You, out of all the fighters I've known over the years, you have perhaps what is the most sh assuredness in yourself and that you're going to make it big someday. Like you've always said that you're going to make it huge and, you know, your main event of Unified MMA 51 in, in Niagara Falls. Tell me, what it like, tell me what it's like, that internal process that you have that confidence in yourself to, to get that high level. It's fucking positive, man. This is what I do. I'm going to be the best in the world. There's um, nothing less. Why fucking accept less than anything mm -hmm. than the best. I put in hard work and uh, came from nothing, so I'm gonna take everything mm -hmm. and just fucking manifest it and it's all coming true, so why doubt it? Like, yep. world champ, easy. I think that some athletes don't really put as much into their mental preparedness as their physical preparedness. Yeah, I'm all mental, fucking. My physical is 100 too, but this shit's like 95 mental, 5% physical, really. And for me, you can't break my mind. I'm unbreakable, and I'm going to break everyone. Just complete confidence, really. Just hard work. When you were offered the name Eric Shelton as an opponent, did you know who he was? And what did you know about him, or what do you know about him now? Um, Didn't really know. Coach said, yo, this is a good fight. The only guy to say yes out of fucking, like, 60 guys we went through this year at least. And uh, he's really the only one who said yes, so I'm like, fuck it. If the coach says yes, let's go. When you get to your level... There's a lot of fighters who are a little bit more strategic and they try to take, maybe not safe fights, but they want to take fights where they have a better chance of winning. And I know it's tough for you to get an opponent sometimes. Yeah, um, I'm pretty much down for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's usually the coaches that say no, but I'm a yes man when it comes down to it. Fucking, it's a fight. And I'll, I can beat anyone within 15 to 25 minutes on any given day. That's it. <laughs> Do you know how you're going to beat Eric yet, or is it something that's going to evolve in the cage? Uh, it's going to evolve in the cage, but I got a couple shit lined up. Um, I'm hoping to fly knee because he likes to step in heavy with his right. Wink, wink, keep stepping in heavy with that fucking right. Um, he really hasn't developed his game over the years. It's the same shit. He's fucking good, but like he's mastered that same shit, but it's all basic. He hasn't seen my striking. He thinks he knows, but fuck around and find out. So you were signed to a multi-fight deal with Unified MMA. What's it like knowing you have that kind of support system in the background that you don't have to worry about getting fights? It's all lined up for you. It's all going to happen. It means nothing. It's still hard to get a fight. Yeah. So it's really nothing, especially on this level. Until I get to UFC and they have to fight me, that's all that matters. All this little shit is still hard. Three-fight contract means nothing, really. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. The the mat today, the wrestling mat on, on Monday at Niagara Top Team is always full of killers. Today, you're missing a few of them because Jasmine and Mike Malott and Kyle Nelson, they were all gone to Vancouver already where they're fighting at UFC 289 this weekend. Tell me your thoughts on Jasmine, Mike, and Kyle and how you see them doing in their fights. Oh, they going to oh, It's going to be beautiful. I just dropped a bunch of money on both of them. Um, don't let them know. Nice parlay. Last one, nice parlay. Uh, yeah, we're going to dominate. Fucking. Hopefully, Jazz puts this bitch away. Top 15. Mike, another first round finish and it's a beautiful night. I won't be able to get lit though, so that's the only thing that sucks. Oh well, there's always next time. There's after my fight. <laughs> All right, Tisha, thanks for speaking with us. Is there anybody you'd like to thank before we go? Um, thanks, fucking Demark, Antonio, Priggett, um, and the whole team. Really, we just out here. There you go, fight fans. Tisha Guthrow, if you don't know his name yet, you will in the future. Make sure you're watching UFC Fight Pass June 23rd, Unified MMA 51 from the Niagara Falls Convention Center. Peace out.